Hi everyone, this is Kevin from PCI Geomatics. Thanks for joining us today. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on our new Smart Geofill tool. Smart Geofill is a brand new capability that's available with Geomatica 2014, and it's a great tool that can be used for doing lots of different things with, uh, with imagery. One of the most common scenarios is combining images that have clouds over portions, uh, over portions of the area of interest where we want to do some analysis. And so what I'm going to do is combine two images that have clouds in different parts of, of the area and uh, basically copy from one image that's cloud free. You can see on the screen now, I have uh, an image from April 24th, which is uh, collected from Landsat 8 very recently. And uh, this image has clouds along the northern portion of the uh, peninsula. This is in Florida. And if I look at the previous image from March 23rd, you can see that this data set is clear in the north, mostly there's a little bit of haze up here, but the southern portion has uh, some clouds. So how could I combine these two together? Very simple, with Smart Geofill it can be done very easily. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into uh, a smaller area. Uh, this is downtown Miami. So this is uh, pan sharpened imagery here that we're looking at, Landside 8 pan sharpened imagery, which I performed in Geomatica. And so if I toggle the two layers on and off, you can see that I've got a nice clear view of the downtown portion of Miami on the March 23rd image. Uh, unfortunately, on the April 24th image, I have a, uh, a few popcorn clouds uh, here uh, obscuring the, uh, the view underneath. So very simple to do. First thing I'm going to do is create a new vector layer. I'm going to uh, choose whole polygon under layer type. And for georeferencing, I'll use the georeferencing from one of the existing layers that's already in the project. I'll go ahead and click OK. Zoom back in at one-to-one -one resolution here. Then what I'll do is I'll grab one of the uh, drawing tools. So I'll grab a, a polygon tool. And I'm just going to freehand draw uh, s uh, an area around some of the clouds that are obscuring here underneath. So I'm just drawing quickly around some of these clouds and also the cloud shadows. You can see that the cloud shadows are also obscuring the view. So a very rough uh, polygon there just to demonstrate the concept. Next thing I'll do is I'll go under Tools, Smart Geofill, and very intuitive panel. So I'll unselect these, uh, these two options here. So under Source, the image that actually doesn't have any cloud is the one that's underneath, which is the March 23rd image. So I'm going to use the March 23rd image as my source, and I'm going to use the April 24th image as my destination. So I want to take the cloud-free portion of March 23rd and paste it right into the April 24th image. So I'm going to copy the, uh, the portion of the image that I want under this polygon, and then I'm simply going to go paste. And what that's going to do is instantly give me a copy of that portion of the image into my uh, destination layer. So there you go, so that looks pretty good. Um, maybe I find this a little bit too dark. It doesn't blend in quite so nice, so I'm just going to hit undo or control Z. I can hit undo here, or I can just do control Z on my keyboard. And this time I'm gonna paste it again, but I'm going to use the overlap color balance method and uh, maybe blend it out a little bit more. I'll choose uh, 30 for my blend width. So I'll paste that again and see how that looks. There you have it, that looks pretty good. If I turn that polygon off, pretty hard to tell that uh, that copy is from, uh, from another image. So that's a great way to combine multiple images. In this case, we only had two images over this area of interest where we had uh, clouds. Uh, maybe there's a scenario where we, where we need a deeper stack to find a complete uh, cloud-free uh, version of this uh, data set, maybe seven or eight images. Those could all be available uh, in the project. We could copy and paste from the different layers, and uh, that would be it. So thanks for watching this episode of PCI Tech TV, and uh, be sure to subscribe and check out more videos on our YouTube channel.